Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so today I actually have to talk about the secret garden. The secret garden, full book summary. Let's get the star whip. Now, people are actually saying that lots and lots of things are secret. Sometimes people say that I password is secret. Other times people say that my life is secret. And so that works out pretty well until they realize, ah, 500 people know my password? What the? Yeah, that just goes ahead and shows how uncompromisable Google management passwords are. My my school account has been hacked once, and I had to change the password somehow. That happens. And so basically, this full book summary just goes ahead and shows the secret garden. All right, so basically, here's how it goes. So uh, Mary is here, and she just goes ahead and is pretty selfish. She's really spoiled, and she just goes ahead this whatever the heck she wants. Because this happens. When she was born, she was ugly and very sickly, so mom was like, how dare? You become sick and how dare you are ugly not like pretty me i will not want to see you again for the rest of your life i Haya and aya hey i i here's this service called Haya and aya okay aya please come here and take care of my daughter i do not want to see her do whatever she wants just so long that it will keep me keep her out of my way what do you mean by keep her out of it like i will never see her i'll never hear, hear of her i'll never smell of her well um are, are, are you sure you have a- Yes? Uh, what do you think I'm hiring you? Should I hang you? No, 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 sir. Okay, yes. That happens. Let's see that happens. Is that the Aya comes and they're like, So, uh, yeah. Hello, little baby. She needs milk. Don't you? I'm not giving her my milk. You, you basically- No. Also, if you buy milk, then it comes out of your wages. What? Then I'll be in debt for like 15 years. Exactly. I don't want this. Then get out. Slap. Okay, other Aya. Okay, eventually she hires an Aya. Next thing that happens is that they, somehow she grows up. She has this sparse little education. And if she did not want to learn how to read and write, she would probably be illiterate without the caring of the mother at all. Next thing that happens is that the mother's all like, hey, you know what? I think it's time to have a little party day. And then she realized one of her sons is saying, how dare you are sick? How, when did she become sick? And like, Apparently, one of the officers transferred it. When was the officer here? The one who talked to your dad? What? To your husband? What the? Okay, you know what? I'll calm down. It's not going to become a chloria outbreak, is it? It's became a chloria outbreak. How? And literally, all the servants who were at least uninfected just ran out of the house. And then the ones who were infected just died on the spot after a few days, of course. And the next thing that happened is that Mary's Aya is dead. Mom is dead. Dad is dead. So. Mary is, I just locked herself into a closet and then she did a quarantine in the playroom thing. Like, Where is everyone going? Where's my mom and dad? Where's my yaya? And she's like, I'm so hungry. She goes outside, finds a half eaten meal. She eats it and then she thirsty, so she finds a full glass of wine. Like, hey, I should eat it. And she drinks it, feels woozy, and because like, it's wine. A 10 year old drinking a full glass of wine. Bleh. That happens. Next thing that happens is like, oh my goodness, like, that was terrible. Now I need to go ahead and sleep. Bleh. She sleeps, she wakes up, and then she stands in the play playroom and she's like, what should I do? Where is everyone? And then she hears voices. And like, uh, yeah, I've heard there was rumors of a kid in the house, but eh, if there was, she'd be dead. Opens it. Ah! Why is there a kid here? It's the kid. So the rumors are true. They had a daughter. But why? I mean, she's not as pretty as her mom, so I'm not sure why. But that's not an excuse to neglect her. Well, maybe the neglect did her some good. Because of the neglect, the virus hasn't touched her. Hmm, good point. Okay. Hey, who are you? My Mary, where is no one coming? And she's like, ah, oh, poor child, no one's coming because everyone's dead. How dare they die? Well, and yeah, that basically happens. And she becomes the bratty and pretty insolent. And they're like, okay, we'll send you to a home. Where's home? This, this home? No, your parents' home. Where's that? She does not know what England is. What's in England? It's a country. We used to have this British Empire. What's the empire? How, how, you're, how old are you? I'm not sure. Nine, 15, 20? She can't be 20. Uh, when were you born? I don't know. Uh, how old does the Aya say you are? 10 years old. Okay, so she goes ahead, does everything great, and basically everyone starts kind of hating her because apparently she's like, I hate them more. It looks like a C, doesn't it? What's a C? 
never mind. So basically, she just goes ahead and sends to her uncle Archibald, who's not at home. So he's like, I will never see this girl. I'm so depressed. And that happens. And he's so depressed. He's like, I refuse to see anyone. My son is born. How dare he? He's got to be a hunchback. Tell him he's a hunchback. But sir, no, he's a hunchback. But, but sir, he is, he's a hunchback. And that's my final word. Lie to him. Oh, uh, okay, okay, sir. And they tell him he's a hunchback as soon as he can learn to read. I'm a lame? Yes. How dare he? It's not his fault, it's your mom's fault. How dare her? Oh, well, then again, she made a beautiful card. Can I see it? You're a hunchback. Oh, uh, was, well, what does that have to do with this? You can't walk. Can't I go in a wheelchair? I don't even know what a wheelchair is. I just made that word up. Apparently, it's a real world word. Um, no, we don't have one. Like, it, how expensive it is. Yeah, your dad can afford it, but he does not want to buy. How dare he? Yeah, I gotta agree with you. And then finally, he buys a wheelchair. Like, okay, go around. Out! Oh my goodness sake, he's almost die. Even though he 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 didn't even he, he wasn't even close to dying. He's like, get back and beg, you lame person. You almost died. When did I almost die? When you fell over. That until then, since then for nine years, he's basically just went ahead and sat down in the bed sinking and doing nothing having idle muscles so they don't ache and lots of other things and so like yeah if this is life it sucks and then mary comes in and, and then he get tantrums every night and the mary comes in and does the bolting which no one else does because they think he'll kill him and said stop that crying this instant or i will slap you and then he's all like and he's so surprised that he does stop. And he's like, oh, what, 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 what? Yes, I'm your cousin. Bye bye, slam. And, oh, so open. And if you cry again, you'll deserve my slapping. Slam. What, what just, what just, what, what just happened? Dad! Dad, your dad is not home and so, stop crying. I'm not crying, I'm screaming. Same thing, slam. Okay, so this is weird, and she just stuck up. And Mary still has to learn how to dress, because apparently her Aya did all the dressing for her. So God, it gotta be awkward. Next thing that happens is that all the secret garden things start happening, and next thing that I find out happening is this Francis Hawkson Burnett. It just happens to be the best thing in the world. She just wrote the best class in the world, because apparently, eventually, there's a servant named Martha who teaches uh, Mary how to... Well, do things, lady things. And then she told her about Dickon, she meets Dickon, and then she finds out about the garden. She learns about gardening by interrogating a guy named Ben the gardener, and who said he'd work on a secret garden for a while, like one, every once or twice a year. And next thing that happened is that she finds the secret garden, she finds a key to it, because apparently the robin helped her find it, because robins like shiny things. Or was it that crow? Who cares? That's it. Next thing that happens is that, hey, you know what? I think you should do your greatest achievement of all. You should go ahead and open the door. She opens it, she f figures out the gardening stuff. Dickon comes and helps, and then they eventually put Colin in there. And Colin's like, I don't want to go. How dare you stop talking? And they both have a tantrum battle. The tantrum battle! Dun, 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 dun. And Mary wins. Colin stops tantruming, and both of them stop tantruming. And he finally goes outside because he's told to get some fresh fresh air. He goes outside, he's like, it's more beautiful than you, you, you told me. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. And then they just play, and Colin starts walking in. I can Walk! Where's my hump? You don't have a hump. They've been lying to me? Yeah. I don't care to be honest. I'm so happy. Nothing's gonna ruin this moment. Walkie, walkie, walk. Walkie, walkie, walk. Walkie, 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 walk. Next thing that happens is that they just go ahead and wait for Uncle Artibald to come home and say, he's so depressed. I'm not seeing anyone except Jerry. So, your son has like, I don't want to see him. It's something about his mom. How dare you? Fine. He's found the secret garden. What? How did they find it? I locked the key. I'll, I'll go see him. And he sees them and he's like, You can walk? I thought you were lame. I thought so too. Until you lied to me. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So that, I can walk. And he's like, Yes, Mary, thanks. And basically, they have a little celebration. This little celebration. As they're just all happy. And, Mar and Archibald just thanks Mary for like, creating a bunch of aura and a bunch more happiness, relighting, reigniting the happiness in the manor. And that's it. So that's actually how the story ends. So hopefully you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until next time, you know, peace. Bye-bye. Wear a helmet.